Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to use the barometer mode on your Casio ProTrek PRG270 watch. This is module 3415 from Casio. I'll also say there is a whole lot that goes into the barometer mode, so I'm going to do my best to keep it as basic as possible and show you as much as I can without getting too complicated in it. So as with most things on this watch, you have an independent button for your three different sensors. You've got your compass button, you've got your altimeter button, and then you've got a standalone barometer button. Anytime you want to go into the barometer mode, you can simply press that barometer button and it will take you in. Now you'll notice that my, uh, well, let, let's talk about a few different things we can do on here. The top screen that's showing this little graph is showing your barometric pressure over the last 42 hours. It's basically uh, 21 different dots, and those 21 dots are taken every two hours. It's 21 times two is 42 hours. The middle section here is going to be your current barometric pressure. Mine's 1,006 hectopascals. You don't have to display it in hectopascals. You can also display your barometric pressure in inches of mercury if you wanted to do that instead. At the bottom here, you have your current temperature from the temperature sensor, the thermometer sensor on your watch. There are a couple different Casio watches that are out there. Some of them have the temperature sensor as its own independent mode. On this model, it is part of your barometer mode. So it will always be uh, viewable. Mine showing in Fahrenheit. Again, we could change that to Celsius if we wanted. The nice thing is it does show it in decimal point value. And then underneath that, the H that you are seeing is the battery level on my watch. My battery level is currently at high. That's kind of the basics of it. Basically, when you go into your barometer mode, it's going to take a barometer reading for five, every five seconds for the first three minutes. And then after that, it's going to continue to take a barometric pressure reading every two minutes while it is still in the barometer mode. After one hour's time, it will kick you out of the barometer mode. That's probably one of the biggest negatives of the Casio ProTrek watches. There's other watches out there. Here's my Cento Core that if I want to go into the barometer mode on this, let me press the mode button. I can go into the barometer mode and I can stay in it as long as I want to. It will not kick me out on this ProTrek model. After one hour, you will get kicked out of the barometer mode and it will quit taking uh, the readings every two minutes. It will continue to be taking readings. I'll show you how you can look at that. The only other thing you can really do from within this mode that I guess is kind of cool is if you wanted to, while you're in your barometer mode, if you press and hold the barometer button, it'll take you into what's called the pressure change mode. And instead of you seeing the last 42 hours of barometric pressure, instead, you'll notice that the screen is kind of cut in half. You can see the last 21 hours of barometric pressure. And then this other side is going to show you whether or not there's been any sudden changes in barometric pressure. This is really more of like a storm indicator type function on this watch. It's kind of designed for, you know, let's say you're going hiking or you're going camping. You can turn this on and for the next 24 hours, it will monitor your barometric pressure. It will continue to monitor your barometric pressure every two minutes, no matter what mode you're in, whether you stay in the barometer mode or whether you go back to the timekeeping mode. The other thing that you're not going to be able to see is there will be a change indicator that will show here if there is a sudden rise in barometric pressure or a sudden fall in barometric pressure or if there's uh, rapid changes one way or another. The reason that it's showing you this, your watch will, will beep if it occurs, is because anytime there's a sudden rise or change or a drop in barometric pressure, it can indicate a change in a weather pattern. So it's kind of letting you know that. I'll show you, if we go ahead and press the mode button and go back to our timekeeping mode, we are out of the barometer. But if I press the adjust button a couple of times, one of the options is for you to be able to view your barometric pressure change. We're seeing the same thing that we saw when we were in our barometer mode. You can see that it says BARO next to my graph up here. That's because I have the uh, barometer change indicator on. So even though we are not in the barometer mode, it is still tracking our barometric pressure change and it will give us a storm alert in the event that there's a sudden change in the barometric pressure. Again, after 24 hours, it will kick us out of this mode. I'm going to go back into the barometer and I'll show you if we decided we just wanted to cancel this and go back to the regular barometer feature. Again, we could just press and hold the barometer button while we are in the barometer mode and you'll notice that the second half of my graph up here has gone away. Now it's just regular uh, barometer functionality. 
Again, after 24 hours, it will kick us out of the barometer mode. And it'll basically put us back in our timekeeping mode. The one thing you can do is you can always keep your uh, barometric pressure change graph viewable even in the timekeeping mode. I can't see my barometric pressure and I can't see my temperature, but I can see over the last 42 hours what the barometric pressure has been doing. So that's about the most um, basic way to see your barometer uh, information without actually going into the barometer. That's kind of the basics of it. Now there's other things you can do, like you can do barometric pressure calibrations. You can even do temperature calibrations. If you're getting an invalid temperature reading on the watch, you can go in and you can adjust it. I'm not gonna get into that. Maybe I'll do a separate video here. I'll also try and do a separate video on the barometric pressure change indicator. Maybe I'll try and do a time lapse so you can actually see the arrows going up or down if we have a barometric pressure change. But that's the basics of what it looks like when you use the barometer mode on your Casio ProTrek PRG270 watch. I hope the video helps.